The family of a two-year-old girl who fell into a rhino exhibit at the Brevard Zoo released a statement today. They say the experience has been trying, but that their daughter is doing well and receiving good care at a hospital in Orlando. The family was taking part in a close-up experience at the Brevard Zoo when she somehow fell into the exhibit and came into contact with the rhinoceros. The girl's father was able to quickly pull her out to safety. And we're joined now by Zoo Miami's Ron McGill. And it's important to note Ron isn't affiliated with the Brevard Zoo. We're just turning to him for his expertise in general about zookeeping. So, Ron, this is a tragic story. It's have very you, scary. Have you um, been able to kind of figure out how the girl fell in between those two bars? Well, we have a similar type of experience at Zoo Miami, where you can go and feed the rhino, and it's the same situation with the poles, the bars. is an 11-inch separation between the bars, basically designed to keep the rhino from coming out and also from adults going in. But, of course, a child, a small child could squeeze through there if you wanted to. Now, at Zoo Miami, we have an additional barrier. There are cables in the front uh, that basically prevent a child from going through and getting to those barriers. Um, but having said that, you know, this is a very positive experience for people. It gives it people, especially kids, that opportunity to get up close to an animal, make that connection to an animal, show that the animal is not this malicious monster that people think it is. Having said that, it is a wild animal. And there's that old saying, you take an animal out of the wild, you can't take the wild out of the animal. So when that child fell in, and it's a little different at the Brevard Zoo in that, their exhibit is two levels. The people are a little more elevated so that the child could then fall into a pit type of exhibit. As opposed to Zoo Miami, it's all on the same level, so you're not going to fall in that way. Ron, are rhinoceroses uh, aggressive animals? You know, they're not aggressive animals, but they're easily frightened and they can become very defensive. So I'm sure that once this little girl fell in, they were startled. Um, Trust me, Elliot, if the animal was being aggressive and really wanted to hurt the girl, you're talking about a two, three-ton animal, a two-year-old little girl, I think the injuries would have been much more severe. I'm sure the animal got startled and just, you know, and, and maybe hit the kid to find out what was going on. What is this alien in our exhibit? Um, fortunately, the father was able to get her out. So is it possible to have these types of interactive exhibits without some element of risk? I mean, you talk about Zoo Miami and, and the barriers you put up, but that's kind of something that goes with it, isn't it? And there is, but I think w the onus is on us. We have to design these exhibits in such a way that pretty much can guarantee a child cannot get in there. People will say, well, you know, the parents have to be more responsible. We can't be that way. We have to assume that the parents aren't even going to be there mm -hmm. because a child can move out of a parent's hand in a split second, and we know what can happen after that, and the kids don't understand that danger. So the onus is on us. And we at the zoo right now in Miami, we met this morning on fortifying an even greater. Well, you have to think a two-year-old is too young for something like this. You agree? I think so. I think a two-year-old really is not comprehending what's going on right. there. Um, so I, I would certainly, and I think the Brevard Zoo actually has a rule that says no one under three can go in. So, you know, but I don't know if they're checking ideas on a three-year-old. How do you check an ID? What, what are the changes that you're making at Zoo Miami? Well, one of the things we're looking at, first of all, is not looking at ages anymore. We're going to look like heights, size, okay, just like they do at the attractions at Disney and a lot of the big attractions because you can say he's two or three but you can't you know uh, go against the height right. so we're going to look at that and we're going to add I think more cables in the front to even make it a smaller space even though they're now pretty much where a kid it would take some time to have to crawl through we want to add more to make sure it doesn't happen so these these types of animal encounters and kids falling into zoo exhibits they happen every once in a while so I'm sure you learn every time something like this happens uh, we do we do kids. and you know with with kids again that's why I say the onus is on us we have to assume the kids really don't know what's happening now on the other extreme when you have these things happen with adults you know, sometimes you just cannot guarantee against human error. If somebody is set to go into an exhibit, do something. You know, you see these guys jumping and they want to swim with the polar bears or be with the lion because they think they have a connection. You, it's, it's sometimes very difficult to really make that a guarantee. You can't allow that to happen. Ron, it's always great to see you. Happy New Year, my friend. Happy New Year Happy to you, too. Thank, Thank you for coming.